All right. Uh, why don't you just start? So okay. So uh, thank you. So I have to say up front that uh, I'm sorry if you came here with expectation that I'm going to tell you about how to resolve infrared divergence. <laughs> but, you know, this is uh, talking about uh, uh, interaction, uh, interaction region uh, design and impact on the measurement and the EIC. So also again, I'm going to stick to uh, uh, really leading order discussion. There's no next leading order. This is, this is really first order. You know, still, <laughs> still, still an uh, ongoing discussion. So this is very. Conceptual level. So I have a, a, a few pictures that is you can uh, you know appreciate maybe. Uh, so interaction region is really uh, where uh, the machine and the physics meets. It, it, it's where the activity happens. So that's uh, very important uh, uh, for uh, the design uh, at, at the early stage of uh, uh, the machine and when you set uh, the physics goal and so on. And uh, the, this is really an uh, integral part of uh, uh, all the thinking uh, how to uh, uh, deliver that physics uh, with uh, that, uh, you know, how we bring the machine to the, the physics. This is uh, where the activity happens. So, this is the, uh, the items I'm going to uh, discuss uh, uh, today. So uh, I'll go uh, very briefly about uh, EIC uh, physics uh, and the machine requirement and the focusing on the interaction region. Uh, and then uh, obviously for uh, this, how we uh, uh, in integrate uh, this you know, physics and machine uh, to the region, interaction, interaction region, IR. And then, uh, uh, for this whole discussion, I'm going to uh, focus on the uh, uh, ERIC case. If you're not familiar with uh, uh, the is EIC is uh, the generic name for electron ion collider. ERIC is a specific uh, name for uh, the, uh, the proposal from uh, the Brookhaven side. And there's another uh, proposal I'm going to uh, show you uh, briefly. And then uh, the, uh, the core of uh, uh, this uh, physics discussion is uh, uh, how we uh, basically identify and, and uh, measure uh, uh, the forward uh, uh, the nuclear, including uh, the proton and, and the neutrons. This is uh, why, because this is really uh, uh, when, uh, where it happens uh, in the interaction region. Interaction region is the middle interaction region. There's all uh, central activity happens and you, you move out and that's where uh, this all the four detections. This is this has to be really integral part of uh, the machine design. And then uh, obviously this is uh, the discussion requirement and considerations. So not not necessarily in, uh, in the sequence, but I'm going to uh, show uh, this and that. So uh, this is I'm not going into uh, the details about uh, uh, the proposals of uh, uh, electron ion collider. I think there has been uh, uh, extensive discussions. I think it's week four. Uh, this uh, from uh, history and, and the basics and and the proposals from uh, these two camps. So what is uh, uh, the the ERIC? I, I mentioned that at the beginning. So this is the uh, Brookhaven proposal. This is uh, as you know, there's a relativistic ion, a heavy ion collider. The Brookhaven has been running like 20 years. And then we, we add the, uh, the electron uh, on, on top of it. Uh, and then there's another uh, the, the camp is the proposal is uh, uh, JLite at the Jefferson lab. There's uh, uh, the, the electron machine and then the adding uh, the hadron machine. So uh, there's uh, pros and cons for, for this both. And then I'm not uh, going into uh, the details. Uh, that's not the, uh, the subject of this talk. And this the uh, whole idea of the, for both cases, uh, this is uh, uh, the maximum utilization of uh, uh, past and the current uh, investment. So obviously if you uh, start from uh, scratch uh, like Greenfield, uh, you will have a, a probably better machine if one is an object. But uh, that's, that's not uh, what the reality is. So, uh, 
So we try to uh, utilize uh, this, this already the invested uh, from the, this the community. And then uh, there's uh, just a two, two uh, the current uh, uh, this, uh, uh, timelines. So I'm not going uh, to mention that the future timeline, but this is the, the two uh, items. One is uh, uh, the Nuclear Science Advisory Committee recommendation. This is uh, very important at least uh, for U.S. project to uh, move forward uh, as, uh, as according to the highest priority for new facility. And then uh, as the, the this year, uh, National uh, uh, Science Academy, uh, Larry Sears, he was uh, also part of it. It's the, the recommendation uh, or this uh, in endorsement. The science that can be addressed by the EIC is compelling and fundamental at the time. Uh, so, uh, we just uh, uh, hope that the future is, is moving forward at this, at this momentum. So, like I, I mentioned, I'm going to uh, uh, the stick to uh, the, the ERIC. So, on the paper, it looks quite different, but uh, the concept is, is very similar. Uh, so, uh, the, for the uh, ERIC uh, realization at uh, the Brookhaven, so uh, the, the current uh, heavy ion collide, uh, the collide, we have uh, uh, the two rings, uh, yellow and, and the blue, we call it. So we keep uh, one ring. So uh, we, we chose to, to take uh, a yellow, so that's why we use yellow color. So we add the uh, 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 electron uh, machine. So uh, it says it's a partially reused. Can we go back to your previous slide? Because you got that red thing up above. What is that? Uh, this one? Yeah, what's uh, this is just to, to show you. You don't want to put everything uh, clamped in here. So you that's just the, the visual. Away from yeah, that, that's just. Sit on top of yeah, that's a visual. Uh, okay. And it's not blue because it would match with the background or something? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is the, uh, the, the yellow and, and the blue rings. Uh, they are identical and they are not on top of each other. I mean, if you are not. Are familiar with the, uh, the rig machine. So if, if they are not on top of each other, it's, it's hard to keep uh, 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 exactly the uh, same uh, the travel length. So that's why you, you cross uh, six points, and that's how you keep exactly the same uh, uh, the travel time. And when they cross, and that they make collisions. But uh, this the region we keep uh, uh, the partial, uh, the blue ring, we are not going to discard all blue ring is, now this relativistic speed when we change. When you change the energy of the, uh, the, the nucleons. So the electron is, is always close to the speed of light. So when you go lower energy, so now the, it's very hard to make uh, uh, the synchronization with the uh, electrons. So that's you try to get uh, uh, some time as you, you, you just utilize some inner uh, arc of the, uh, the, the other ring. So you just uh, gain some time. So that's why you, we try to keep uh, uh, the. Uh, the part of, uh, of the blue ring. So uh, I don't have to go into the details of uh, uh, the electron rings. This is the, for uh, the electron side. And then uh, uh, to, to deliver uh, good uh, luminosity uh, for the physics we are aiming for, as uh, we really need uh, uh, the, the, the cooling for the beam. Cooling is the when, when you have a beam and when it's, uh, it's circulate, it just tend to uh, uh, so randomize. So you do, you, then you lose uh, uh, basically uh, the luminosity. The beam uh, the emittance grows. So do you have to uh, keep it uh, uh, the focus. So was an energy recovery. Yeah. So and, the, and, and that, that's, that's gone. That's well, that's you know at least this is our the current uh, uh, design. Okay. Yeah. The ring ring. So ring. the idea is you just continue to inject that ring and yeah. accelerate. You, yeah, so, so uh, the injection is at, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at uh, it is called it uh, on energy. So you have, you keep a uh, kind of a tool that you have uh, here, the so bypassing the collision, and when you hit uh, the energy, you just inject it. So that's, that's how you keep, uh, you know, pass the switching. Okay, so it's, yeah. in, it's accelerated before yeah. possible, yeah. so it's just storage. So, yeah, it's, it's slightly different. The electric hydrogen ring, you, you inject and you just uh, accelerate, you ramp it. Okay. Yeah, not for electron. So it's because it's there's not so much acceleration. Yeah. And so that's just a big storage ring basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So this is the, uh, in, 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 the in, in terms of technology, this is more uh, safe and also there's other uh, pros and cons, but this is what uh, we currently uh, 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 thinking. So uh, this is the ring ring design so called. So still we, we can get uh, uh, the good uh, 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 the luminosity. So this is in the context of the physics. So I will show just one plot uh, what is uh, this, you know, 10 to 34. So this is the, with the cooling and without cooling, there's like, you know, the four times 10 to 33. So, but there's another penalty for this integrated. So, but this is kind of number you just uh, can uh, come back to. So the main limitation is the width, the width and length of it. Beam, which is why you have to cool it. Yeah, it's, 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 it just blows up. It's, it's shrinking in the transverse direction or longitudinal or both? Yeah, I mean, this is the, the, the beam size is longitudinal and much bigger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the vertically, that's the beam is kind of uh, uh, the very flat. So the vertically tiny mm -hmm. and the longitudinal is it's much larger. So you, you try to uh, you know, squeeze uh, basically vertically as, as much as possible. And the hydro cooling system works with the ions as well as for the photons? Uh, yeah, I mean, hydro cooling uh, is, has been, there are uh, ways of uh, the cooling. One is uh, like a stochastic cooling we've been uh, doing at the, at the heavy ions. Yeah. So, it just uh, works along the protons, right? But, yeah. Yeah, so, so we have to, uh, but. So the, this is mainly to work on the proton side or do you have to work on both? So this is mainly we've been using uh, the, the for protons. Yeah. So this the uh, uh, I've tried to uh, the show show you what what is you know if you are not familiar with the interaction region in real life. So how it looks like. So this looks like this. So this is not much. Uh, this is what you see. This is uh, inside. You, Inside the ring, if you, if you sit here and look at this side, and that's, that's what you see. This is a star at the six o'clock. We, with the notation we use is, this is like a clock. This is uh, the six o'clock at the star. This is uh, the, the Phoenix. And this is, uh, this is, this region is uh, the, the interaction region. So there's no clear, uh, you know, the cut, you know, where you draw a line for interaction region, but where the activity happens. So here it's a real activity and this is, uh, uh, you know, forward uh, uh, the particle uh, tagging and so on. Why is Phoenix transparent? Is it because it's not clear with all the good detectors? <laughs> no, I, uh, well, is a message here, or this is just yeah. I mean, it's. I think this is this is <laughs> this is everything is just uh, for uh, the display, right? If you if you make a uh, uh, in opaque, probably you don't you you know. It's. I think it's for better, it's better for display. display. Yeah. Phoenix is a theory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's you know, it's a, yeah. I mean, still, still, star. We are running it. <laughs> also, this is not to scale. You know, you. This is great assumptions about the subtlety of the game management. So I know you are worrying about the kink and icon, uh, you know, the Feynman diagram, but uh, okay. So. So, <laughs> okay. So this is again uh, back to the uh, interaction region at the, uh, the the rig. So this is a six o'clock. This is the uh, uh, this is the, just the outside. Uh, probably you've seen uh, enough of the uh, the star detector, and the, the, we are not going to a uh, recycle star detector. Maybe partly, but uh, it's it's going to be completely new detector if. We, uh, something happens here. So uh, this is the where uh, uh, basically uh, this, this area is. Uh, this is about the 16 meters. And this is the uh, star detector or detector. And uh, you can see uh, there are the, the two rails. And when uh, the, we have uh, 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 the maintenance and so on, we just uh, the, the bring this four detector uh, uh, up to here and then uh, we just install new part and so on. So this star detect is like uh, give and take like 1,200 tons. So this is this is very hard to move. It, it takes us the, about moving 100 feet. You know, takes like a, a whole day. Uh, in any case, so this is the uh, uh, the, the, the where uh, so the main detector is going to be, 
And then this is where uh, the beam instrumentation and, and the fault detector coexist. So this is the, uh, just to try to give you uh, uh, just a scale. So then let's go back to uh, the EIC, uh, the physics. And so this is uh, one page, uh, the summary, uh, probably uh, you've seen probably uh, many times. Uh, this is in terms of uh, uh, the, the physics, uh, just you know, uh, it's a brief description of what we are going for, and this function of luminosity. And this is uh, it's more probably uh, easier for you to, to associate with uh, the measurement when, when uh, uh, people present the simulations, we present with the total integrated luminosity. Uh, typically for EIC physics, uh, we use like a 10 inverse femtoton or uh, the one inverse femtoton depending on physics uh, around here. So like you, you remember the instantaneous luminosity with the cooling is, is, is here, right? 10 to 34. So without cooling, uh, you go somewhere here. So this is the, where the luminosity uh, is, uh, is, is uh, high demand luminosity, luminous challenging. So this tomography and then the TMD and, and the GPD and so on. And this is now inclusive. And then uh, uh, the some saturation uh, physics and so on. This is internal landscape nuclei, what does that mean? Uh, internal landscape of uh, uh, the nuclei is just that uh, you want to look at uh, also like a fragmentation, how it fragments uh, and internally and, and so on, or you know, this is okay. kind of generic. Well, I would assume it's just projects. Yeah. EAs and yeah. stuff discussed yeah. last week. Oh yeah, so like yeah. I mean, this this is uh, also like a uh, nuclear PDF, and you know, yeah, it sounds like, like the yeah. value of stability yeah. beyond, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean you start thinking of nuclear structure. It's not quite so, so this the, the the color code is now there's a three uh, uh, typical measurement for uh, DIC. We call it inclusive. Uh, inclusive is just only uh, you take the uh, outgoing uh, leptons. And then uh, everything else, you just, you know, uh, it's every over or you just ignore. Uh, so this is the, the inclusive and the same inclusive and the lepton plus and you uh, measure uh, some of the particles coming out. So, and then this is, uh, there's an exclusive process. This is where uh, this the all forward instrumentation is uh, uh, intimately tied with. So uh, exclusive process in DIS or a hadron or any uh, the high energy collisions, when you call it exclusive, it has to be uh, diffractive. If it's not diffractive, it's very hard to, to know everything uh, going on. So if diffractive is you're coming out and you're going out, you know, basically everything. So this you call it exclusive. So, so this is the, uh, uh, the, the color coded block. So what is the demanded uh, in terms of luminosity and the center of mass energy? So inclusive is, is uh, uh, somewhere here. So semi-inclusive and then exclusive like GPD and the TMD is set and the, you, you require uh, high luminosity. Why is the inclusive DIS not relevant to saturation physics? I mean, it seems like a post uh, function. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. See, this is, you know, this is, uh, you know, cartoonish, uh, you know, this is not really, you know, clean. Uh, of course, there's overlaps and so on, I agree. So then, you know, you are, you are not going to have a, 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 this kind of cartoon. Uh, so it, it's, too, it's too much. So I'm not going to spend much time on, on this, uh, this main detector. So main detector is going to be used for uh, any of this, uh, the, the physics, in, in starting inclusive, semi-inclusive, and even the exclusive. So this is the, uh, uh, so uh, the, the key point is this about uh, uh, for the physics, uh, basically, if you uh, look at the white paper and also follow up uh, papers, discussions, uh, we need uh, something like a plus minus 4.5 meters to accommodate all these uh, uh, needs. And this uh, the angular coverage is like uh, plus minus pseudo rapidity, like four. So then uh, the tracking plus PID and, you know, and, and so on. So, so this is the uh, 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 so picture. So there's also other uh, 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 proposals. This is one of the proposals, other proposals, but 
Uh, I'm not going into uh, details here. This is this idea is we have to cover basically uh, this much uh, kinematic phase space, and then uh, uh, with the PID and the flatting capability. So the naive, I'm trying not to ask a stupid question, but so this would be just a totally new detector. It's not going to be based on any existing. Yeah. So this is this is this one is uh, the totally uh, new, and there is uh, uh, the proposal. And also, uh, uh, maybe people uh, that take uh, seriously, and we uh, just recycle some component of, uh, uh, I call it upcycle. Okay. So uh, some magnets from uh, uh, some like, for example, power experiment that where S Phoenix is trying to use, and then we again we reuse that uh, we build uh, EIC oriented detector on top of it, something like that. But nothing is is completely settled. So, yeah, but this, this is this concept is, is all new, completely new detail. Yeah, because I haven't seen this. Yeah. And, but the TPC would be the star TPC? No, 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 no. no star, yeah. It's, oh, it's, it doesn't fit. And also, I mean, it's, 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 it's all the technology and dimension is not right and, you know, everything is not right. So, mm -hmm. it, it, uh, basically, it, 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 it costs more, right? So, I mean, it, the, 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 there's no point. So and then there is a beast detector, which is not this. This, 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 this is, this is, oh, a beast. This is beast. Yeah, we call it beast. Why don't but you again, but it? this is, I'm trying to show this as a conceptual uh, 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 description, right? This is nothing is, you know, to me it can be changed. We can add or we can make a smaller, or we can make a bigger. So we are not going to build a detector, uh, you know, tomorrow. So this is, again, conceptually, uh, this is also if there's uh, uh, the better technology, we probably replace uh, one of the you know calorimeter technology and, and things like that. But uh, okay, so now let's go into uh, uh, the forward uh, tagging. So now you have a, 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 a central detector. So now uh, you wanna have, a, for example, like exclusive measurement. You, you wanna measure, uh, uh, you wanna tag a scattered uh, the nuclear proton or the, the neutron. So. This is the, uh, uh, the, the basically uh, list. This is not uh, the complete list, but this is a list of uh, 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 the physics uh, we are planning to do uh, with the uh, uh, EIC. So this is uh, this is rather generic. Uh, it's nothing really tied uh, with uh, uh, ERIC, but this can be uh, completely applied to to the Jefferson Lab uh, uh, proposal. So uh, defining uh, exclusive reaction in EP and EA, this is the, uh, again, this is obvious uh, the thing to do with the, uh, the diffraction. You have to uh, identify exclusivity. So uh, diffractive event, identify the group diffractive event, including scattering, uh, scattered proton. Uh, this is to have a, uh, as much as uh, uh, the possible in terms of kinematic uh, the coverage. So you have a, a you know, for example, like momentum transfer, you want to have a, a small momentum transfer and a large momentum transfer, you want to cover it. So for electron, uh, the ion, so ion is very hard to, to it's the kick is just simply too small for like coherent uh, diffraction. So for this kind of thing, you have to uh, rely on some other method like rapidity gap. And so this need a wide rapidity uh, the coverage from uh, other uh, detectors. So, uh, what's the axis direction? If a positive, positive eta is uh, nucleus going? Or yeah. So this is uh, this is proton. Is yeah. So and then uh, so another item is uh, uh, you wanna uh, look at this is uh, co uh, related with this one identifying a uh, uh, coherency of uh, uh, the, the EA collisions. So uh, this is the. Uh, 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 this is the, when you have a, 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 this, uh, in, try to look at the incoherent uh, the process. So you have to, you wanna measure uh, uh, the, the, the breakup. And if you don't see anything on the, that's, that is uh, basically uh, the coherence. So this is all uh, the part of uh, uh, the ZDC, uh, for example, like a zero degree, the calorimeter. You try to look at, uh, is there any activity? And you should see nothing and then it's, it's coherent, and you see some major uh, the neutrons coming up. So then, uh, if it's diffractive, then it's incoherent. And then uh, other uh, uh, way to to utilize uh, this forward detection, and also it's 
uh, it's, it's crucial for this light ion physics is uh, uh, you want to look at uh, uh, when you have, uh, for example, like helium-3 and the deuteron, so collide with electron, you don't know which one is, is, is colliding. If you, if you have uh, uh, the proton in the forward direction or a neutron in forward direction, you know the target is a neutron or a proton. The helium-3 is the same. So if you, if you can uh, take uh, two protons, and then basically it's, uh, 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 it's like you have a collision with the uh, uh, electron and, and neutron. So, and there's another uh, uh, thing is we, we can have uh, some way of accessing uh, the event geometry uh, in the semi-inclusive EA. So this is, I will uh, briefly show uh, when, when I uh, get to that. So, uh, so let me try to go uh, uh, quickly on uh, uh, the forward uh, protons. So what is involved in the, in the measurement? Again, I try to put a little bit uh, uh, in the, the picture and so on, you get a uh, uh, kind of real feeling. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the scattered, uh, the protons, uh, it has an uh, order of uh, a milli radians. So this is, this is uh, you, you, what you are dealing with. So the, the protons has, has, a, uh, has a very uh, tiny angle and just off uh, the beam line. So you really have to get to uh, very close to uh, to, to the nominal beam line. So uh, this is, the, we call it a, a Roman path. So to get to uh, the close to the beam. And there's uh, two limits. And one uh, large angle limit is, uh, large angle meaning is high T. So basically you can uh, look at this close elastic. So you can look at these correlations. So it's, it's mainly limited by the beam aperture. It's, it's, uh, there's uh, the beam element. The beam ele element have this much. And if you cannot get out of the beam element, so it's just you are limited. You cannot uh, get a higher angle than that. Small angle is the beam comes with some kind of intrinsic size uh, depending on uh, uh, the, the beam property. So uh, you, there's a, the beam is like this much, you cannot get to uh, typically uh, 10 sigma of the beam size or eight sigma or something. You cannot get closer than that. If you get closer, you're just a uh, uh, detector just want to buy uh, uh, the real, uh, uh, the beam particles, and they, it, it's, there's no measurement. And then this is to, uh, to uh, very important, uh, uh, the considerations, when you talk about anything about uh, uh, the nuclear, nuclear measurement, the forward nuclear measurement, this is the old, uh, this is the two limit, and which is most important uh, when the early on uh, for this uh, interaction region design. So, so make the uh, aperture larger, and then you want to have a beam uh, as, uh, the envelope uh, as small as possible. So, so this is the uh, two constraint. And then, uh, you know, there's uh, reconstruction uh, resolutions, uh, the, the items you have to uh, worry about the reconstruction uh, uh, resolution and so on. This is uh, uh, the, uh, the real Roman part, uh, the plots uh, you, 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 you see uh, from two, uh, we have two stations at the uh, six o'clock at again star. So this is where uh, uh, we measure uh, this one. It's not just uh, 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 you know it's just numbers, and we, we actually been uh, uh, using this one uh, for the measurement. So this is uh, you can see the scale of uh, uh, the Roman parts. So this is the uh, you can see the horizontal the parts you can access like this when beam is uh, beam is in, in the orbit. And then when the beam is not there, we just move it, and the beam gets to uh, the, the right uh, orbit, so we just uh, push it across so, the beam. Sorry, this is a stupid theorist question. What is the beam aperture? Beam aperture. Aperture is, uh, aperture is, is kind of okay. So aperture meaning, <laughs> aperture meaning is, uh, <laughs> so, so this, this, the, the, to bring the beam, so you need the magnets, right? Because so the magnets, you, you focus the beam, yeah, and then it comes out with a, yeah, with a, yeah, but, yeah, but uh, the, when, when you uh, try to bring the beam, and the, there's all the dipoles and polar poles and all the magnets, and they have a, a so opening, aperture. Okay, so that's So, true. yeah, so, and then uh, the beam is fine. Aperture is typically much, much larger than beam size. They yeah. can, you know, when, when so, we do gymnastics and still we can accommodate. But once you have uh, particles coming out, and once you hit the, the magnet, you cannot measure. Right? 
So that's that's a limit. That's our okay. Okay. Is yeah, the so collision away from the magnets? I mean, the collision happens inside the detector, right? Yeah, yeah, but so, so yeah, yeah. But you're, you're looking at high T. Yeah, you're looking at high. Yeah, but high T is so you kick something out of yes. You know, the, so the inter so the collision kicks something out of the beam at the largish. Angle. That's that, yeah. that's that, that's where and we have a focusing magnet after the collision point. The, the, the rolling pots are, yeah. are fifty some meters downstream. So, oh, so it's high so even, it's even if you kick it a little bit. Yeah, it's not mid rapidity. No. But it's it's mid rapidity, it's rapidity it's you can you can go ninety degree, no problem, right? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. So still very forward. So these are particles that you want uh, to continue yes. in the beam part and not hit the focusing yes. magnets at the, the interaction. Yeah, if you want to hit your I mean L H C the particles, the protons can travel hundreds of meters and then you know but that's how you get so how, you fish, so how you fish out uh, the slope. So, so what's the optimization there? What do you gain with having a small average? So you lose some of the IP diffraction. So the, what, what, what do you gain? Actually, Bushin people would like to have a small aperture. Yeah. So right. if they make a larger, yes. so there's the luminosity and you know, it's 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 when you have a smaller, it's much easier to 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 focus. So it's easier to focus. Yeah. Right. Luminosity so if smaller. you have a, like this big, it, it's very hard to have a uh, you know. To control uh, optics to okay. I mean, so you lose uh, uh, luminosity. That's a proportional to the aperture or the scale or something. But that's okay. you have a, a significant drop. So it's an optimization between luminosity and acceptance at high. Yes, yeah. that's, that's that's that's. And then uh, it it has to be uh, driven by physics. You cannot you cannot just call it okay. Give me uh, the, the you know huge aperture. So you cannot <laughs> do that. It has to be driven by physics. So that's I'm going to show a little bit. So, so this uh, this one is just uh, uh, you know this is just a measurement from a, a star at the rig just to to show actually the Roman path uh, technology we've been using at the rig is actually working very well. So this is the uh, now this is at, uh, at the rig when you measure PP goes to uh, PP and the uh, central uh, the diffraction pi plus pi minus coming out nothing else. This is completely exclusive. You measure everything and you know everything. So you make uh, energy conservation from here to here and then make a difference, it has to be zero. So basically this guy. So this is, this is where the signal is. And then you take that sample and you look at, you know, whatever uh, the, uh, the mirror and the mass of pi plus pi minus, and you can see this all the scalar measurements and uh, 12 empty, this is tensor measurement and so on. But this is not the topic of this discussion, but trying to show you this, uh, this method uh, works and this is, uh, you know how to do it. Sorry, what's that called? The plots are different horizontal axis. Yeah, so this is basically a difference. It, the energy has to be, to take exclusivity, the energy has to be balanced. If you take uh, uh, this energy of uh, pi plus pi minus, and the energy the lost uh, from uh, two outgoing particles has to be the same, right? So if you take the difference, it has to be zero. So you can tag on two primes? Oh yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is the, the tag on the Roman part. That that's why that's what uh, uh, the Roman part is for. So if you don't have this one, you have no idea, right? This is pi plus pi minus and something else or not. But the, by knowing this one and energy is completely conserved, you know that's only particle coming out. So that that's that's how you do exclusive measurement. So this is the the Thomas's the question. This is the where to uh, draw a line. So this is what is quote unquote optimization. Uh, we had a lot of uh, the back and forth discussions uh, with the machine. And then uh, this is the, uh, uh, is the most important, you know, I'll say one of the most important, the measurement uh, with the diffraction is for example, like uh, the DVCS. So DVCS is, I don't have to go into what DVCS is. So this is for uh, GPD and the special distribution of uh, uh, the protons. So you want to have a, uh, the exclusive measurement of E plus e, uh, the electron hitting proton and then uh, the photon coming out. And this is the simplest measurement, uh, uh, but it has to be uh, exclusive. So this is the, uh, the how much you, uh, you have to cover in terms of a map out this, uh, the B space. So this is the, uh, uh, so for example, this is PT and the T is basically PT square. So this is uh, uh, what we uh, want in terms of the measurement. And if you lose the lowest part or the highest part, this is, this is what you get. 
this is in terms of T distribution, and this is the Fourier transform of this distribution. Okay, so uh, this is again uh, limited by uh, the beam uh, uh, the emittance and so on, beam quality, and this is limited by uh, uh, beam aperture. Let's say if you make the beam aperture too small, so this is what you get. This is what you suffer. So, uh, so to get this one, so we kind of set uh, uh, the guideline or what the, our uh, design parameter so to hit the, uh, the PT uh, 1.3. So PT obviously uh, depends on the initial momentum. So you have to uh, translate it. So this is, uh, this is uh, when the proton is uh, 250. So if it goes lower, so PT obviously PT coverage is getting uh, lower. So, the, so that kind of thing is uh, uh, the limit. So another uh, the limit uh, we uh, need to uh, know is the forward uh, neutrons from a nucleus uh, the breakup. So this is the, uh, again uh, for a diffractive event in EA. So you want to measure uh, basically nothing to take this uh, the coherent uh, the process. So that is very important. So you have uh, you have to have a uh, here, uh, there's a huge separation at uh, uh, the T is, for example, like a point to one. Uh, so uh, in, uh, incoherent and coherent. So you have a, a small uh, contamination from, uh, say, uh, incoherent. So the tagging uh, coherent at this T is, is screwed up. So you want to have 100% a, a acceptance. And that is we, we from the, the calculation, we have something like uh, plus minus four. Uh, uh, here, it's four milliradian at, uh, at 100 GB. So you go lower, so you, you have to sacrifice. You're obviously uh, losing. But uh, this is now getting into lower energy, and now GDC has to be uh, much, much larger. So now then, you know, we hit some point so that you cannot you know, have everything, right? So, so this is, we set uh, uh, for uh, highest energy. So we uh, aim for to get 100% acceptance. So this is the, uh, where we set the line. So uh, next one is uh, also we want to measure uh, spectator, uh, the protons uh, in, uh, from uh, helium-3 and, uh, and the deuterons. So this is what I, I mentioned that uh, this is crucial for identifying process uh, with the neutron, uh, the target. So if you measure uh, two protons, and then you basically, you know from helium-3, and you have uh, interaction with the neutron. So uh, in principle, it's, it's, it's impossible uh, to accelerate the neutrons, but uh, using this one, and you can have a kind of a, a neutron uh, kind of a target or beam. So, so this is the, uh, uh, the basically distribution of uh, uh, momentum uh, and, uh, and uh, the, the angle coming out. This is very similar. This is pretty much all, uh, again, uh, uh, driven by or from emotion. Uh, uh, and this is the, this energy smearing is coming from also longitudinal from emotion and then uh, it's Lorentz boost it. So the, how you separate it? And then uh, this is uh, we use uh, utilize uh, magnetic uh, uh, the rigidity. So beam is tuned for like helium three, and now then the rigidity changes. The proton suffers different field. So this is the uh, uh, the effect of two. So it, it bends twice more. So if you know the, how it bends, and then you kind of identify. Uh, uh, it's, you, you have the protons. Again, this is all in a uh, few milliradian uh, order, so that it has to be all uh, in, in the forward region. So, so what's the detector that measures the protons? Hmm? What's the detector that measures these protons? So that's, the that's, protons? that's Roman part, you know, Roman part or Roman part light, right? So this is, uh, we try to uh, utilize basically uh, uh, the same detector, uh, Roman part, and then uh, try to look at also uh, so that's why you have to be very clever uh, to accommodate the, the protons suffers twice of bending uh, can go to the yeah, similar, so so similar the detector. Question, so do you use the same raw method that you're using in yeah. EP, EP physics to get the protons? EP physics, yes. So to, to the proton, and then you have to have also acceptance uh, the protons are bending twice. Yeah, of course. So, so that's, you know, that's, that's the tricky part. But you, you have to be clever. Uh, otherwise, uh, you, have, you can come up with uh, it depends too much, and you can come up with uh, some other kind of detector. 
and you have a different location, you know, maybe another optimization is required, location and, you know, the position and so on. But it, it, it can be done. So the, the, this is basically what, what it shows, this is your, your question. This is the, uh, the, the, the pro spectator protons coming out of helium-3 and the spectators coming out from uh, deuterons. And uh, this is the, at the, at the proposed Roman part locations. So basically you will have, uh, uh, if, if uh, it's just the protons, from the proton uh, beam optics, we'll see the zero and zero. But now it's bent twice and this is about a few centimeters away, and this is about uh, 15 centimeters away. This is not crazy, you know, this is... You know, so in some sense, that, that's easier than the exclusive in the physics because in your point... Yeah, in some sense, in some sense it's so. easier. And, but now, uh, you know, you, it is, you, you don't have a probably 100% acceptance. Some with a, a large variation in the momentum from this whatever uh, smearing from uh, 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 the Fermi motion and probably cannot make it, but that, that, that's what it is. And then this is just basically a bit of uh, 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 the details, how you, you, you just uh, uh, the get it, so. So now uh, the last item uh, I would like to show uh, uh, briefly is, uh, we had uh, some uh, proposal of uh, uh, the measuring uh, the geometry or taking geometry uh, in the EA collisions. So we thought uh, this is kind of uh, impossible. Uh, this is the, in AA, you know, you, you, you look at the, uh, the multiplicity and you kind of associate with the, the global model and you can calculate the, what is impact parameter and so on. But here, this is collision is, is, is very, cross section is so small and the most likely it, it has only uh, one, one uh, nucleon uh, uh, suffers uh, the, this collision. But depending on where it happens, it happens here or here, and then secondary is created from uh, that collision uh, is basically a proportional to the, this distance. So her idea is to have a zero impact parameter, the distance has to be maximum. So if it hits here, so you'll have uh, the maximum length. But if it hit here, no, I mean, we are talking about all in average. So this is a correlation of, uh, uh, this distance and the distance number of secondary particles coming out and then there's how many uh, neutrons boiled off. This is evaporated neutrons uh, from uh, these collisions. So we make uh, uh, the measurement of zero degree neutrons and then you can correlate back to the what is distance and the back to uh, the impact parameter. Again, this is not as, as precise as uh, uh, heavy ion collisions, but this is, we have a, a kind of first order uh, 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 you know, a separation between uh, so quote unquote very central and or non central. If you look at the impact parameter uh, space, and this is uh, by looking at uh, uh, the number of neutrons coming out, you can uh, have an impact parameter a kind of separation. This is a way to get uh, closer to the zero impact parameter. This is useful for. Uh, for example, like saturation or any physics like nuclear PDF and so on. If you have a geometry information, uh, I think it, it's a great uh, advantage of uh, uh, studying uh, uh, nucleus. But the, the, this, is, this is very beginning. Hmm? What is T? T is, uh, D is the distance of this one. Okay. Yeah, so D has uh, uh, the better, better correlation, mm -hmm. but we have to have another translation. T doesn't mean much, right? You need the uh, interparameter. So, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, D is, 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 is good to know, but you want to translate it to, to, to where it hits, hits here or hit here. For saturation, I would argue that D may be more important. Yeah, yeah I, I mean. Saturation scale squared. Yeah, but, yeah, but the, they are, they are uh, correlated. Like D is, is another, the problem is if it hit here and hit here and the same impact parameter and the D is uh, very different. It's a minimum and that's the maximum. Basically for saturation, you're kind of, Small x like, you're coherent over the whole uh, over the whole nucleus, so d is not really well defined. Well, we, we believe you're, you are, right? We, we <laughs> believe even that event you don't know where the fluctuation happens. On average, we are. Yeah, but yeah. basically, no, if, if you measure the lx on you and you deduce from that that it's a small x, right? Yeah. That it's small. So you know from the electron to small x event. So you, then you know the energy of the gamma star. 
So you kind of know what the wavelength of the gamma star is. And if it's small, x, the wavelength of the gamma star is so long that, that it covers the whole nucleus. Yeah. And somehow you cannot, you don't have, you don't have a well, you don't have a well-defined d. The wavelength of the photon is much larger than that, much larger than the nucleus. Yeah, coherence and hypothesis is transverse. But, but anyway, right, right. so, yeah. I mean, so no, like this is not small x, right? They have larger. Yeah, so this is a target that is in a lamp where a quark is knocked out of one of the nucleus. Yeah. So this is a large x picture built in, it seems, right? Wait, wait, but the, the, this, is, this is the, the, we are not talking about the physics of uh, uh, the evaporate neutrons. We are talking about how to relate with the physics happens here. Right, but what, yeah, what yeah. Thomas yeah. is saying is right. Yeah. Small x would have a photon fluctuated the quark anti quark pair yeah. on average way before it hits the nuclear current. Yeah. So, in a way, your D is always. You know, well, you, you, you see everything, you see everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. You see everything at the given yeah. Yeah. parameter. Well, yeah. So, so, this seems to be like you guys biased your analysis towards large x type of scattering, where the scattering of the photon enters the nucleus and interacts with something. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, I, I understand what you, what you say. We, we, uh, when we uh, wrote this paper, so we kind of uh, uh, faked the, what is the coherence length and, you know, and things like that. Uh, we played with it, but... Yeah, but, uh, but of course, the B is still, somehow, B is still a well-defined concept of small x. So you can say, think of having, so you have collisions at different Bs, and it's a well-defined concept. Yeah, so oh, it's it's also a well-defined concept. Yeah, it, it just, yeah, it's so just but B is just something out. You, you cannot, you're maxed out. For, but, but for B, you yeah. are not. And so, the, so, in some sense, this is a question of somehow correlate. So somehow, what you want to measure, let's say you want to measure a cross, say you want to measure a cross section, you want to measure F two sometimes. So it's a question of uh, correlating the cross section, so the, the probability of scattering with the number of evaporated evaporated neutrons, or somehow the number of number of particles. Well, the number of evaporated neutrons, and this going to be larger at small b near the center. Yeah. And so then you can. Uh, that's yeah. that's the thing. It's all every right. picture. Yeah. yeah, it's every picture. But so this picture is kind of perfect correlation now between B and L, B and D. In, in some so, 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 so what happens? So, so, you, so, so you, you, okay, so you, you go through the nucleus, right? Then you hit one nucleon or something at some point, right? And then this kicks out a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, right? so that's this, 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 yeah, this is all uh, the slow process. Right. 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 So I think we understand. So the more you hit, the more secondaries you have. Or the less, so no, 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 not more here. So this the distance, travel, this, this, this. The more you travel, the more, the more you Exactly, travel. that's the key point. So you have the, the more hard scattering, scattering, which is localized. Yes. And then, uh, then the hard scattering produces some hadronic stuff that goes through the rest of yeah. the nucleus. And so this, the longer the distance, the more it kicks out. Right. Right. From Basically, this, this process is decoupled, right? So in, in some sense. But the spectators, which did not interact with the hadronic particles, yeah. They just go down the beam and you never see them. Yeah, spec but spectral neutrons, you see it. Because so that's what you're taking on. Yeah, Talk neutrons. Neutrons, are, those are the spectators. Yeah, spectral neutrons is all coming out to zero degree. So that's that we have acceptance for. So the fewer neutrons you heat, the more evaporated neutrons you have? No, 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 not fewer. It happens here. It's, it's, it all depends on, at least this study, uh, we gauge this uh, geometry with uh, uh, this travel length, this distance. I mean, number of uh, collisions, typically, it's, it's one, right? I mean, it, it's basically even same number one collision. It, it, it depends no, where you hit. The original yeah. collision, right? Yeah. The original collision, like, like you said, is you create some stuff, yeah. or Thomas said, and, and that knocks out other particles. But the evaporated neutrons are the ones which were not affected by this process. Yes. That's yeah. all yeah. coming pretty much at zero degree. Spectators. So in your more peripheral collisions, you have more spectrum. Uh, is that no, so no, 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 no. I don't think he means that the evaporated <laughs> nuclear, eva evaporated neutrons are the spectators. No. The evaporated neutrons are, sometimes are the ones that are the, they evaporate because of this process. Spectators in, in for for spectators for this guy, but they 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 are coming out of whatever it's excited energy, right? It's, yeah, so it's excited. You, excited. I think the, the way you maybe the way you think of it is that you. Well, you, still you, we call you, it you, keep the, you keep the nucleus somewhere in the nucleus. You have a localized hard scattering that, that deposits energy into the nucleus. So then this nucleus really starts starts boiling, decaying, disintegrating, and the more energy you kick in, uh, a 
all the inlets put the, the inlet that goes through is yeah. deposit energy, and the more energy you put in, the more neutrons you evaporate. Which is proportional to the distance. So what what yeah. happens if the induction is coherent yeah. over the whole? Yeah. Yeah. Like so this is what we were just discussing. Yeah, then, right. then, then you don't have. Then you don't the question of the then this concept of the coherence. Is, coherence is, is, is not, the by definition nothing coming out, right? No, 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 no. The, the, for, no, the, the coherent coherent diffraction. We are this is all. Uh, this is this. We are talking about this is mainly for uh, uh, inclusive uh, uh, spect. No, no. What I so this is for the Oh, this so again. Yeah. Just uh, it's like uh, we see the front of, from the front beginning from from. From uh, beginning to the end, it's yeah. wavelength is solar. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm a bit confused. So if I think of a nucleus as just a billiard ball picture, right? yeah. Then and and so those balls are all flying towards me, and I throw something at them, right? If I hit somewhere towards the edge, uh, I have less interaction. More balls will continue down the beam, and maybe will be seen by your... Yeah, yeah, but, but the, 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 the point is... is yeah, is but the, 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 the number of... Uh, that, then it might be uh, intact, but the uh, number of uh, this evaporated neutron is, is, is probably less. But let's put it they have to be yes. liberated yes. in some sense. If, if, the, if the neutrons are still stuck to some neutron remnant, it's the Earth. Okay, okay so then it's going to go form lighter nucleus. Yes, right? yes, so exactly. The nucleus is gone either way. The original nucleus is gone. So, so the, the question is, is well, oh, you really want three you need individual three neutrons, neutrons. Yeah. The, yeah. not some, you know. Well, it's like a gold know. minus one or something. So that's. So, yeah, so then yeah, the more sense of the more violent. Right. So this is what Thomas, I guess, is saying. The more violent the collision, the more of them you knock out. More of the spectator. Yeah. So Spec the more yeah. central the collision, the more evaporated neutrons. Yeah, I mean, that's the sort of language that's okay, correct. What I mean by spectators are the ones who. Spectator is coming on. This guy, you call it oh, spectator. Okay. So, so what Yuri means by spectator, what Yuri means by spectators is not the evaporated neutrons, right. it's the rest. But what it's I a mean by spectator is the it's a nuclear. Yeah, but how do you distinguish? Because you have different uh, directions, those which are locked out. So here, uh, here, again, here, spectator meaning is this is event, yeah. and uh, it's, it's not related with uh, this. this is, it's a faster reaction of this one, QCD process or whatever. So this everything else is an uh, event of a spectator. But then what happens when it's spectator and evaporator? So mm -hmm. part of the spectator gets evaporated and the other part <laughs> yes. is just like, oh, exactly. How do you distinguish the evaporator having evaporated? Yeah, okay. This is, this is, so this is, so this is the our average <laughs> So, so that's, the, that's the terminology, yeah. both, the, both the guys that are kicked out and the guys that are, don't participate in any way are spectators. Now, the spectators consist of two, two kinds of particles, the evaporated neutrons. Thomas, why did you put the rest of it? No, no, that's what it is. That's what it is. All right, let me address yeah. Thomas. Yeah. Thomas. Yeah. I don't need to draw. I can use your slides. I can use your slides. It's not me, it's not me. So, 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 I thought so, that this is much easier than I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. It's just, it's just a bus. We let you dream until the end. I'm on the page 16. No, this is N and LO. <laughs> just so we know it's going on. And this story is this, right? Yeah. yeah. And then the leftovers of that, maybe along the way, hit two or three more. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I wonder who ever, so in my language, yeah, those yeah. are wounded nucleus. So in the standard language, everyone which I didn't draw a line, so every nucleon that doesn't have a line going through it, it's not a spectator. Spectator, yeah. but some of it them may like, evaporate. It seems like oh. what you call, uh, so, so that's not what okay, you call Okay, so that's, that's heavy yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not just heavy out. Well, spectators okay. have yeah. been around from like oh, yeah. old PPs, a few A1 or something. So, so when this gets a little bit excited, when this coming out, you call it spectator or uh, what, what do you call it? No. The ones which are direct effect. These are spectators. Yes. But they, that's, yeah, that's oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. this yeah. one comes out. And this, this, this is some of these two, right? Yeah. But okay, okay. So, this is, so, so these are so these are spec okay, so these are spectators. Go through. But, but the more stuff you hit here, the more of these spectators evaporate. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, so in the billiard ball model, it doesn't matter. Because you are not uh, hitting into the billiard ball. Right, no, so that's what I'm asking. Yeah, it's not the billiard, billiard ball. ball. In the billiard ball model, what happens is that if you have a peripheral collision, you just kick out this guy. Yes. You're not, you don't have any, you're just, you, so, you, so you don't have these other wounded nucleons, and you don't have any evaporation neutrons. Whereas if you, in the billiard ball model, if you kick, if, if, in the billiard ball model, if you kick this one, then you have lots so of collisions with agree. these, so and then you. So I'm not quite sure. I agree. In the billiard ball model, if you hit <laughs> this one, everything else comes out, but they don't remain like we were discussing with Brian. They don't. So the original, you know, gold nucleus is gone. <laughs> what? Yeah. And of course, you weren't here all week. Just sit down, buckle up, and hit this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the original nucleus is gone. What's left is not uh, not no longer a nucleus, right? It's uh, just a bunch of nucleus, which, uh, which will start. Oh, no, 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 see, see, yeah, some, some, So they even some, consider, some, I mean, some, they even consider in, in cases when you kick out the protons, right? You use the fact that their remaining nucleus still has a different rigidity as a whole. So it detects so it this nucleus, all. yes. So it detects it's this a nucleus as a whole. In some side, of the right? But I'm saying what's left is not yet a nucleus, it's just a bunch of nucleus. They may form, yes, I think the way I think the way I think the I think the thinking is that it's a nucleus, it's just in an excited state. You're in an excited state, it's just a bunch of nucleus. Okay, 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 have you guys talked to nuclear structure, guys? Is this really a nucleus? I mean, the fragments into a bunch of So, we. Okay, and then then so you can come out and, 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 yeah. So 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 the region. So what's the answer? The more I <laughs> hit, the more neutrons will come out. Yes. So the more central the collision, the more. So more central. If you hit here, so by definition, what is the the longest uh, travel length? If you hit here, so you have parameter zero, and the surface will have a largest longest distance. Because more energy you right. use. So, you're, yeah. you're so, so that's, that's why. Yeah. 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 That, that's why you need a translation. More nucleons will experience the energy. Yes, but if you yeah. kick out the nucleon from the outer shell, shell. Part. so then you definitely get the wrong state. And then, okay. If I just kick out one? Yeah. Just, just take key shell and oh, key shell. Term, for instance, or whatever. Right. Right. So then yeah, it will be wrong to this. You see, you, you need, if you kick at the very back of the nucleus, uh, because there is no way it can collapse. If, if, so if you kick out photons, let's say from, from inner shells in the shell model, then right. so then I mean it collapses. It, yes, it, it collapses. It's one of the upper ones that just yes. doesn't care. So you get the whole yes, you, you can, can, you can get this new yes, yes, you get slightly different nuclei for, for a while, but this while is sufficient for you to travel. And then you don't see any evaporation. Oh, I don't see no. no, so 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 the, again, this is our average, right? So we we also look at uh, it's not it's not just neutrons coming out. The reason we pick neutron is that the easiest particle to detect, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it's coming to zero degree. So if you let's say if you have a way to measure uh, the protons, evaporate the protons coming out. Let's say you pretend that you can measure it. If you add it, it doesn't change the picture. So once you have a neutron, it's pretty much you, know, you're, uh, you, you, you have a 90% of the work. So now you try to add light ions. It's like maybe copper can come out or silicon can come out or whatever. Right? You try to add everything, it doesn't change the picture. So the first order work is heavy lifting is done or by the number of neutrons. So that's why uh, it's easiest and we stick to it. That's okay. okay. Yeah, it's not very correlated. It's, it's not very correlated, again, right? So this is, for example, if it he, he here, you know, it's, it's, you know, you, you don't have a travel distance, even if it in the parameter zero. So, so it's, but, but uh, still you can see, uh, you know, it's, it's like uh, roughly some extra handle uh, sampling 
toward, I would say, uh, uh, you know, input parameter, uh, small input parameter size. So, so uh, can you use some, so KVN is, of course, what I'm used to, some sort of billiard ball picture, right? When we just okay. use well, but I'm not advocating it. I'm just saying this is what they've been doing to measure okay. what they would call centrality, um, right? Yes. And so, A, my question is, do you completely, do you believe that all of that is crap and, and you, you're making your own, or do you think there's some value in that approach too and you can do it maybe simultaneously or something? So we have two ways of... Uh, you mean what? Measuring what? multiplicity or what? Yeah, yeah, just look at multiplicity and you bring events by multiplicity. No, 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 no. Heavy ion is, is a very different. Heavy ion is... The heavy ion is right? It's the, the problem we have in... No, no, no. The problem we have in What's EA it? is a cross-section is so small. If you try to uh, draw a small uh, the hole, right. the, in the, it, it's a tiny. But the heavy ion, you are, you are really basically scraping off. It's mm -hmm. all proportional to multiplicity. But here, number of collisions you have is one or less. It doesn't matter if ion or P. But it's I'm most so likely it's, one. So I'm not sure heavy ions are all that simple. Yeah, so what cross-section is small? So somehow... So what is, uh, what is, the, pro what is the number of... Uh, uh, collisions you have for EA compared to EP. Oh, that's true. So multiplicity is a small. Yeah. E, it's the same problem as in PP collisions. Yeah, right? but yes, what, what's 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 PP is what is in the parameter. Yeah, but, so, but I think it's, so the cross section is small because there's an electromagnet. So the gamma, gamma nucleus cross section is small because there's an electromagnetic coupling. Yeah. But once the photon interacts once and then it changes into stuff, this stuff is hadronic stuff and then it interacts with the rest. With the hadronic cross section. See, that, that's why we have it here. That this is we are, we are using this one. For, but for I'm, just, I'm just suggesting simultaneously using some multiplicity cuts maybe to improve the correlation. No, I'm no, no. Sure no. Multiplicity cut is not going to do it. Because so it, it's mostly it. by one, and if you count the multiplicity coming out near the, uh, the central region, it's not sensitive. Because EP, multiplicity press from EP and EA is very similar. But how important that is for you that you're using this larger picture where the photon actually interacts somewhere inside the nucleus as opposed to what we were discussing yeah. like 15 minutes ago when the photon first fluctuates into the cubic pair and then the cubic pair is pretty much like your proton. Yeah. So it becomes a, like a proton interacting with the nucleus so the cross-section will be larger and uh, um, would this change maybe the correlation somehow multiplicities would get larger maybe or not? Yes, so somehow or if you think of small x even if you're somehow if you if you're in the, you can think of dipoles or you can go to very low virtualities where you can think of like a vector meson dominance right. model. So somehow in some sense, yeah, maybe right. as, a, as a soft, as a soft, as a soft, uh, in the soft limit at small x, soft, uh, large, small q per limit, you can basically think of the photon as a low meson. And then you're doing row nuclear yeah. scattering, which is basically PA, yeah. the same, it behaves as PA scattering. So, so, so that's going to be very different. Yeah, this, so, uh, so, so what you can do picture. is, first you take uh, like small x event, uh, then, then you you have a kind of different way of uh, classifying mm -hmm. event. You can, have a yeah. So uh, yeah, again, yeah, course. again, this is uh, uh, you know kind of average way. So I, oh, I, 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 I just, yes, we're trying yes. to suggest yeah. another, uh, yeah. another uh, yeah. analysis of yeah. measurement. But but the overall picture is uh, EA and the PA is very different. So that's that, that's why we just have the discussion. Okay. Can I, can I go on and finish on the interaction no, region? That's, that's a message. If you, yeah. if you do the same analysis as small x, we, then they are not given. Me, in yeah. case, the physical picture will be different. Whether the curves would move a lot, we have no idea right? yeah. until you guys yes. know that. But we just, the feeling, at least of some of us, <laughs> is that yeah. maybe it's worth to try to change the right. original okay. large x picture and try the small x one just to see. Meaning you're showing all the talks we have soft waves. <laughs> yeah, so, so actually, you know, yeah. there is a deal. Okay, so, so, but then, I mean, the thing should also yeah. break up completely differently, right? Because you're basically kind of starting to see this whole thing. I don't know. We, right? we have absolutely no idea how it breaks. Yeah. So, well, yeah, but, it's, but it's certainly it's not be different. interesting. I, I mean, it's certainly it's, good. It makes a lot. It's yeah. If we know everything, so we do in this. We make donuts. We are trying to suggest some other side of look for you. Yeah. Understand. Then, uh, yeah. You're worried that your analysis is larger x biased. Okay. And there are small x experts in the room which are. Another way, another way to put, put it is that when you're at large x, the new, the energy transfer in the target rest frame is small, right? 
So then you you can think of the you can think of the process as just kicking one nuclear and exciting the nucleus a little bit, and then you evaporate and yes. so on. But at small x, the the new the energy transfer in target rest target rest frame is large. Yeah. So you're breaking up the nucleus in some potentially very different way. Yeah. Like in pH. Like in pH. So you may break it up more, and maybe it will produce a better correlation of these things. Yeah, so uh, then, then, then we, then like uh, Thomas said, we, we are getting closer to like a PA collision. So yeah. then we have to see. I mean, we need, uh, uh, you know, yeah, for <laughs> framework and so for yeah, Okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so it's already, uh, it's, let, me, let me try to go quickly and then uh, try to. <laughs> okay, so, so this one is uh, uh, then uh, knowing uh, so what uh, I, uh, uh, discuss. So this is the uh, uh, kind of summary of uh, uh, elect, uh, interaction region. We are going back to the original uh, discussions. So we need a, a large uh, detector acceptance, allowing large detector acceptance. So this is uh, uh, no accelerator component in plus or minus 4.5. This is kind of uh, to deliver uh, the inclusive, semi-inclusive and other physics and we need uh, this space. And uh, this beam component, the four detector component, that uh, they have to be uh, uh, in this coexist. Uh, and then uh, a large aperture, this is uh, we just discussed, and the beam divergence has to be also uh, limited, so cannot just uh, grow as, uh, as much as they want. So uh, hadron uh, uh, dipole uh, uh, so spectrometer magnet, this is just try to accommodate uh, the high PT. I show a little bit at the end. So, uh, and then uh, this is the, uh, the size of the beam at the beginning, uh, the Larry asked, this is, uh, beam has to be uh, very small. So the small beam here at the EIC, Erie case, is very flat. So it's, it's in the vertical side is very small. And then this is kind of uh, the gauge how much you squeeze the beam. So you, you, you squeeze really uh, a tiny spot. And this then- yeah, the centimeter. This is this is the, the this is called the beta star. Beam size is as a, 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 a order of a tens of a microns. But, right. Yeah. So I, but no, no, no. This is the beta star in accelerator term. It's how you how you squeeze the beta function. It's so not your beta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, this, this is not the right thing. This is not relativistic, but just, 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 just consider this is the, uh, uh, you have a, a smaller, you have a, a more squeeze. You make a beam uh, the squeeze as much as possible. So squeeze so, in the transverse plane? It's yeah, transverse is uh, the beta x and the, the vertical is y. So you can see this, uh, the squeeze in vertical is much, much, much more. So you, your beam is really the, the Right, flat. so the ratio is 90 to 4, but why centimeters? So this is a unit for the, the beta function. So this is accelerator terminology. What's a beta function? I know beta, which is here, we see, which is dimension less. It's not that beta. It's not that beta. Yeah, that's it's not beta. beta. So just to consider this is how much you squeeze one. Like so, 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 and then another one is, yeah, this is, the, uh, this is interesting. This is interesting feature for uh, EIC. You don't see it from uh, uh, the, uh, the rig. So this is the, uh, we, we want to have uh, uh, the faster beam separation uh, because this is EA, if you just, uh, they're coming close to 90 degree, uh, the, 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 the head on. So there's a lot of uh, uh, long range correlations, like parasitic collisions, it happens. So you want to have uh, where the uh, interaction point, everything else you have, um, they don't see each other. And when we need it and they see everything and then immediately, They've done work and they just have to separate. So the, the one way is uh, that the two beam coming in with an angle. So they could cross uh, with a crossing angle. So that's that we put uh, something like uh, uh, order 20 uh, milli radian. And also by doing it, you have also space for, for the neutrons. You, you want to move away uh, so faster so you can have a, a space. So this is uh, this is the same for. Uh, the, the, the Jefferson lab uh, proposal. This is the feature that's try to minimize this uh, the parasitic collisions. And then, you know, there's also singleton radiation, 
minimization, and then uh, there's also uh, electron uh, chicane. This is extra turn on the electron side to have uh, uh, to have uh, electron tagging and luminosity. And this is a bit detailed, but this is uh, pretty much summary of uh, uh, the, the requirement and and the being at least implemented for current uh, EU design. Yeah, it's design. So this is the, uh, the, the picture of uh, uh, what, what it described. If you translate it to the picture, this is where the central detector is. There's nothing beam element. And then this is all, this is stuff coming out. This is hadron side, electron side with an angle. So from, uh, this is uh, the hadron side, electron, you see as I uh, mentioned previously, there's absolutely no bending. Uh, because you try to minimize uh, the singleton radiation. Okay, this is extra turn to have a, uh, a device for e tag and so. Okay, so these all details. So this is if you blow up, uh, this is a hadron side. Uh, so this is the, uh, the layers of uh, the magnets, dipoles, and, and uh, the quarter of focusing magnet vertically and horizontally. And this is the aperture uh, for uh, the neutrons, it's a neutron detectors. If, you, if we didn't have a, 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 the, the crossing angle, we'll have a really hard time to have uh, uh, these uh, this neutrons. That, that's that's another, another region. Okay, so this is po uh, possible Roman part locations uh, and so on. So this is the, uh, pretty much all described in the, in, in the previous slides. And this is the uh, uh, summary of uh, 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 acceptance in terms of uh, the angle, angle. So neutron detection is uh, plus minus uh, four milli radian, and the Roman part is about uh, it's uh, one to uh, five milli radian, and the forward detector is is the first uh, uh, dipole, and you 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 put some uh, detector component, and this is for when beam energy is lower, you can go a larger angle uh, to cover similar PT range. So this is uh, forward. Uh, Detect the six to uh, uh, the twenty milli radian. So if 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 you realize the, the, this this sum of this coverage and compared to uh, center uh, detector, there is uh, the gap between uh, uh, probably up to sometimes twenty to like a thirty five and forty. Uh, this you know kind of we call it gray zone. So we at least now uh, we don't have a, a acceptance for that. So if you have a, a clear physics, we really have to measure that and we have to uh, speak now. So otherwise, if it's too late, so I mean, it's, 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 we are not going to take this out and then put something else. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, not, I'm not going to borrow with you uh, yeah, this one. So this is how we accomplish with the different the beam tunes and the two to cover this wide range of uh, uh, this, uh, 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 the phase space we need for uh, this DBCS. We call it different mode of uh, high acceptance or high divergence. When, when you require uh, luminosity, uh, you can have a little bit larger divergence, but uh, you, you put high luminosity and it doesn't matter because you're not getting into be close to the beam because PT is high. So the lower PT, is you need uh, to get close to the uh, beam, uh, but it doesn't, the cross section is high, so you can afford uh, lower luminosity, things like that. So you can optimize to accomplish this. So uh, for the Japanese lab, it will be uh, very similar. Looks very different, but the idea is similar. So you have uh, uh, one spot and you have a, a wide angle uh, coverage. And then there's another uh, the place you have a, a, so a different uh, magnet with a more precise uh, so this is the uh, consideration for uh, Roma parts. Uh, this is all uh, pretty much details, but I'm not going into uh, details. I'm going to just a uh, uh, summary. So uh, this is just some obvious statement. Uh, this IR is uh, a crucial part of uh, a machine and, and the physics uh, performance and the needs for uh, EIC. And as you see the, the requirements, uh, very uh, stringent uh, in terms of acceptance and luminosity and so on, and are integrated and also and being integrated uh, in in the, uh, the current IR design. 
at least for uh, this the uh, uh, forward detector system, it's it's a uh, uh, core part of uh, this uh, the IR detector system uh, for protons. We have a, a wide range of coverage between uh, 50 to uh, the maximum energy we envision 275. So, and then uh, uh, this is not the end. Obviously, a more detailed physics simulations and the design uh, detector design study is is uh, optimization is on the way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, it took uh, longer than I saw. You didn't do two and a half <laughs> hours? <laughs> you only one and a half hours? Okay, uh, last chance to ask questions. Do you want to object to that uh, issue about placing that uh, one of your previous slides, which you said object now or forever hold your okay. peace or something? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I, no, I didn't. Just, you know, it's still. Uh, the, realization, <laughs> the realization is, but uh, but you cannot have everything, right? We need a, a place for the beam element. So you cannot have a, you know, uh, you have to have some kind of gray spot somewhere. But uh, if there's really crucial uh, physics, uh, you know, depending on this angular coverage, you can translate to the uh, pseudo rapidity. So then uh, it's it's better. Know, should be better than uh, later. So, so I mean, the usual with is the higher you go, the higher you go in rapidity, the better. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, but the meaning meaning uh, not, not not to the, the near the beam. You, you, your order rapidity is like four or something, right? Right. Yeah. So we have a coverage up to four. Okay. So and then four is like about thirty-five meter radian. Is it right? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. I think thirty. Thirty-two. 32, okay. 32. Okay. But this is a backward one or maybe I'm just this is this is the proton side. So the proton the side going out. Yeah, hadron going out. Okay, so if one <coughs> wants to look for the spin dependent other on, you need to look backward. Daniel, your turn. <laughs> That's no, it's the previous slide. Yeah, no. But it was the PA also. Yeah, that's, that's a PA. PA or uh, so no, this is the. Okay, this is. And how does it work with polarization on these hadrons? Is it that if you start to do these crossings and bending and so on, can you keep the polarization? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Polarization is, is fine. Yeah. I mean, this is 70% hadron polarization. For longitudinal for transfers. I mean, this so is both. Sorry, I, Keep I, I'd take. like to ask the question. Yes. Yeah. Okay, anything else? So, JH, if you go to the next slide, <laughs> top plot, the one that probably scares me. Any progress on how to recover that drama of using low PT dramatically at our top energy? I, you discussed this and I told you that there were ideas of running the No, but that's a different energy. High energy. 27, no, 27. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is, uh, just to look at this one, is a 20 and the 250, right? So this is the, this is a uh, uh, high divergence mode. So if you look at the uh, uh, high acceptance uh, with a uh, uh, small divergence, we can, we can recover. So we never never see the plot. Yeah. 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 For example, like here. Like this is what they do at the, at the LHC for Tolten. They have these very specific ones for just going below. Yeah, we uh, we the same one. star. We don't the star. I mean, yeah. when you try to measure like diffraction, like elastic, <coughs> right? So you you have a you know completely different optics in the run few days. We have plenty of data. Are you here? Are you feeling better? No, I want to see the plot. I, then, then I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay.
Okay. Anything okay. else? I'll go send the speaker again. Okay, thank you. Anyway, they can rule how large it could be.